30 Days of Violence, episode 19. And we're going to look at Lethway style cutting punches. Now, Lethway, if you're not familiar, it's a bit like Thai boxing, but you can use headbutts. It's a little bit rougher, a little bit readier. It's ungloved with wraps and cuts are one of the main orders of the day, as it would have been in traditional bare knuckle boxing too. And so whilst much of the striking is very synonymous with normal Thai boxing or early Thai boxing, more brand, what we're going to look at is a certain type of punch, which is common or was common. And it's using these knuckles here. So these knuckles that you'd use to knock on a door. What can we do with them? How can they work? If you imagine, I've got wraps and bandages all over here. These knuckles are typically free. Now, a Lethway style cutting use of this hand is essentially in raking shot. So it's using these door knocking knuckles and using them to hit and strike above and below the eye. So we're looking to hit with the door knocking knuckles, which are quite sharp and bony, and we're looking to rip the skin above and around the eyes. Now, obviously this isn't a boxing for self-protection technique. You don't wanna waste time with things that cut. You wanna use your time on things that can cut. But it's an interesting thing to look at. And essentially, it's like moving your hand like one of those Chinese waving cats. And incidentally, Chinese New Year tomorrow, isn't it? So, gong hei fa zhai. So, the hands typically start relatively high, as you'd expect in old school time boxing too. You see that in Lethway. Open hands tend to be high. Form the door knocking hand here and strike down. So we're either looking completely kind of vertical downward strike or you're looking kind of a diagonal rip. But either way, the hands being high. <coughs> so coming diagonal or coming vertical. Either way. <coughs> or You can imagine, you can feel it on your own skin. This is relatively terrible skin. So using these four knuckles here, you can imagine the kind of damage, cuts, bleeds it's gonna to cause to a face over time. The hands being higher important because then a bit of gravity's behind you. But most important, don't just use the hand like the aforementioned cat. Make sure that your body, your hip, your shoulders, your feet, you know, all of you, all of your weight should be ripping this down. It's not going to rip by itself. It needs the assistance of your body <coughs> to make the shot work. So this is a Lethway style slicing or raking style punch using the door knocking knuckles, striking diagonally or vertically down the face, causing damage to the eyes, to the nose, cutting this up. So eventually you can have, land your more ballistic shots. So for example, left way rake, headbutt, because headbutts are in the system. You know, you can left way rake, elbow, left way rake, strike, left way rake, kick, you've got the idea. And you can start to build them into your combinations. One, two, rake, hook. One, two, rake, hook. Again, all things you can play with, but using these door knocking knuckles to rip and tear.